Hello world, welcome to Building Black Wall Street. This video is going to be a thank you to President Barack Obama for being the best president in American history. I'm going to try to keep it focused on how his presidency helped the stock market since this channel is focused on investing. I'm going to keep my personal biases, whether they are factual, which I think they are, out of it and just focus on how he helped save this economy from disaster. And outside of him, this would not be the number one superpower. Well, I'm not going to say him, his administration and also the people to a certain degree because we are all a part of what makes America great. I went on Wikipedia just so we can get a visual of our wonderful president of the last eight years. Now, President Barack Obama was inaugurated on January 20th, 2009 and he faced one of the worst financial crises ever the only thing that even comes close to comparison was what FDR faced in the Great Depression and the hurdles he had to overcome were 10 times what FDR had to just because President Obama, as you see, is a black man. And despite all of the forces against him, it's clear God was on his side because he brought us through that panic to right now the market is at an all-time high. Also, jobless is at an all-time low, not to mention all the other factors I mean, we can talk about Obamacare where we have 20 million people that would not be insured that are covered. So the great things President Obama was able to achieve, despite all the racism and all the other factors that were at play that made him 10 times, that made it 10 times harder for him to operate being a black president. I mean, if we're being honest, he faced challenges that a white president, if the president had been John McCain, he would not have had to tackle these prejudices that President Obama had to overcome. And even further, his conduct on an international as well as on a private scale as far as his family is concerned was just stellar. I mean, him and his family were just a class act and their representation of African-American Americans was second to none. The Cliff Huxtable image that the Cosby show tried to portray, we saw a living example of that even higher, in my opinion, through President Obama and his lovely family of Michelle and his daughter, Sasha and Malia. And to be honest, they are the real representation of black families that are first class citizens, that are true Americans, that are educated, that are peace lovers. I'm going to get to the facts and it's going to be focused more from a financial economical standpoint because we could go on for days about Mr. Obama and his family and their first class representation of decent wonderful people. The Obama administration saved the U.S. economy and to be honest the worldwide economy because if 
the U.S. economy would have collapsed. All the other economies would have had to suffer too since they're all connected through the banking system and in other areas as well. And during his first hundred days, these are some of the things that were put into play to put us in the position where we are now of record highs in the stock market, record lows in employment, excuse me, in unemployment. Now it says on February 17, 2009, Obama signed the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, a $787 billion economic stimulus package aimed at helping the economy recover from the deepening worldwide recession. The act includes increased federal spending for health care, infrastructure, education, various tax breaks, and incentives and direct assistance to individuals. If you can see the number 224 in blue, I'm going to start reading from there. It says, Obama intervened in the troubled automotive industry. In March 2009, renewing loans for General Motors and Chrysler to continue operations while reorganizing. Over the following months, the White House set terms for both firms' bankruptcies, including the sales of Chrysler to Italian automaker Fiat and a reorganization of GM, giving the U.S. government a temporary 60% equity stake in the company, with the Canadian government taking a 12% stake. In June 2009, dissatisfied with the pace of economic stimulus, Obama called on his cabinet to accelerate the investment. He signed into law the car allowance rebate system, known colloquially as cash for clunkers, that temporarily boosted the, econo the economy. Another challenge that the Obama administration had to tackle was the rise of unemployment. Referring to the Wikipedia article, it says, as it did throughout 2008, the unemployment rate rose in 2009, reaching a peak in October at 10%, and averaging 10% in the fourth quarter, excuse me, quarter, following a decrease to 9.7% in the first quarter of 2010, the unemployment rate fell to 9.6% in the second quarter where it remained for the rest of the year. Moving on, I'm going to re refer to this Investopedia article. It's titled, Where Was the Dow Jones When Obama Took Office? It says, when President Obama took office on January 20, 2009, the Dow Jones Industrial Average slumped to 7,949.09, the lowest inaugural performance for the Dow since its creation. That's something that's important for us to consider because no other presidents had ever had to deal with a stock market dropping that low on their first day. And this goes back for the whole Dow's history. Now let's fast forward to January 18th, 2017. And I'm going to be referring to the Bureau of Labor Statistics website. And I'm going to scroll down over here to where the jobless rate is at today. Now, if we look at December 2016, it says the jobless rate is at 4.7%, which is a far cry from the 10% it was at when President Obama was inaugurated. So amongst his many accomplishments, this was one of the biggest, I think. I mean, we can throw his administration 
capturing and killing the terrorist Osama bin Laden, but he has so many accomplishments. Let's just focus on the ones that are of this channel's interest, which is going to be related to the economy and specifically the stock market. I did a Google search of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and today is January the 18th, 2017, and the Dow right now is at 19,804.72, and it's going to reach 20,000. I'm not a macro economic analyst, but I wouldn't be surprised if it reaches there sometime this year. And a lot of people have been giving Donald Trump credit for the rise in the market, but we would be a far cry from 19,804 without the Obama administration. So it would only be logical to thank President Obama and his administration for the Dow getting to 20,000 because focusing on two months worth of market growth is unrealistic, especially if we're not going to take into account the last eight years and what had happened coming to this point. So I want to personally thank President Barack Obama and his administration for the Dow getting to 20,000. They will be thanking him tomorrow because on January 20th, Donald Trump is going to take the helm of the United States government. But again, thank you very much, President Barack Hussein Obama, and also thank your wonderful family for being a true representation of what outstanding people should conduct themselves like. You will go down in history as the best president. All right. I hope you guys stay blessed and stay tuned.